Hey guys, it's Danny and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video I thought I would show you how to turn yourself into this super creepy demonic priest. Uh, it's a really fun and simple makeup to do and if you're like me and have very highly religious grandparents it will freak them right out. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to find out how to look like this, just stay tuned. Okay, so to get this evil priest started, the first thing you want to do is block out both of your eyebrows. So for this I'm using the glue stick method. So what you want to do is take any washable glue stick and run that through your eyebrows. You want to go with the direction of the hair and against the hair as well to make sure that each eyebrow hair is coated in a layer of glue. Let this first layer dry completely and then take a spatula and scrape off a small amount of that glue and create a nice thick coat over your entire eyebrow. If you get any excess glue on the skin, this can be tidied up just using a base Maybe wipe or something similar just to make sure that you do get a nice clean finish to the eyebrow. Then you want to let that layer of glue dry and go over the top of it with Ben Nye's Neutral Set Translucent Face Powder and just set that into place by just pressing that powder over the top using a foundation brush. You want to leave that powder on for a couple of minutes and then brush away the excess powder using a large fluffy brush. And then I'm just taking a concealer. This one is by NYX. It is the full coverage concealer in the colour beige. And I'm just going to go over the top of my eyebrows to cancel out any of that sort of blue grey tone from the eyebrow underneath the glue. And then I'm just going to set that concealer into place using the same face powder as earlier. I'm then taking this bone colour face paint, it's basically an off-white with a little bit of grey mixed into it. This is by Superstar and I'm going to apply a very rough base of this all over my face, neck and ears. You want to apply this really roughly so use a large stippling brush or something that's going to give you quite a lot of texture and you also want to make sure that this gets right into your ears as well so you don't have any of that warm skin tone showing through. Once you've got that paint on you just want to set the entire face using that same face powder as earlier. I'm then taking a very wet cotton bud or q-tip and I'm just going to remove the paint on my forehead in the shape of an inverted cross. This is going to help me for placement of where I want the red to be and also make sure that I get all the dimensions of the cross completely even and symmetrical so that it doesn't look a little bit weird. But then once I've got that shape down and removed all the paint from that area, I'm going to just fill that in using a red face paint. This one's by Snazaru, it's just a really cheap red face paint and I'm going to fill that in using a small detail brush. I'm then just going to darken up the centre of that cross using Snazaroo's maroon colour face paint and then set that into place using Sugar Pill's Love Plus red eyeshadow. I'm then taking this dark grey eyeshadow by Makeup Forever, this is in the shade M106 and I'm just going to shade the inside of this cross to make it look like it's really sunken in and like this cross has been cut out of our face. So you just want to blend that grey eyeshadow into the red to get this really nice gradient and then to make the outside of the skin look like it's actually obviously higher up than the cross you want to take a lighter grey eyeshadow, this is M10 by Makeup Forever and you want to shade around the outside of that but you want to leave a small border around the cross of maybe about two or three millimeters as this is going to help with the sort of illusion that this cross has been you know cut out of our face <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm then going to take one of my favourite products of all time, this is Ben Nye Thick Blood, and I'm just going to apply this on a spatula using, oh, <laughs> on, on, on my face using a spatula, and I'm just going to apply that over the middle of the cross, just to make it look really chunky and wet and bloody and horrible. <laughs> I'm then taking the Ultimate Bloody Hell palette by Dashbo and I'm taking the colours Red Mist and Bloodstain on a large brush and I'm just going to do this blood splatter effect all over the top of that cross and on my forehead as well surrounding it. Now this is an alcohol activated paint so I'm using isopropyl alcohol here and just dipping my brush in and using my thumb to get the blood splatter effect. I'm just also going to soften that down using a cotton bud soaked in isopropyl alcohol as well to make it look like that blood has been sitting there for a while. I'm then going to take that light grey eyeshadow and start to make myself look a lot more evil. So for this I'm just going to darken up the inner corner of the eye and also darken up the bags underneath my eye. You also want to contour down the sides of your nose with this colour and create some sort of frown or furrow marks on the bridge of your nose to make it look like you're really really angry. <laughs> I'm then just going to take a large, clean, fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to soften down those shadows a little bit more to make them look a little bit more natural. You also want to do the exact same thing to your nasal labial folds as well. This is going to really help with that sort of snarled, angry expression. I'm then going to hollow out my cheekbones using the darkest of the Makeup Forever Grey eyeshadows. This is the M106 again, and you want to concentrate the colour at the top part of the cheekbone closest to your ears, and you want this to blend out really nicely as it gets closer towards the corners of your mouth. This is really going to help make this look a lot more sunken in, but you also want to do the same thing to your jawbone as well, and make sure that this is really nicely blended and you get a good fade between the grey eyeshadow and the bone colour face paint. I'm then going to do the exact same thing for my temples with the same eyeshadow as well. However, when I do the temples, I put a base down first by using circular motions with a large fluffy brush. Then I go back in with more of that pigment to darken up even more, but concentrate this colour to the side of my face closest towards the centre. I'm then just taking a large fluffy brush again and I'm going to create a light wash of grey over my eyelid. I'm using the lightest grey eyeshadow here and I'm taking this colour up to the top of my brow bone and also underneath my eye to make those bags look even darker. And I'm just going to darken the inside corner of the eye only using the darkest grey eyeshadow again just to make that area look really deep and sunken in. I'm then going back in with Love Plus eyeshadow. This is a red eyeshadow by Sugar Pill, and I'm going to put this over the top part of my eyelid and blend that into the grey eyeshadows in the crease. I'm then also going to take that red eyeshadow underneath the eye as well to help make that area look really irritated, as well as running a little bit of this red through the contours of the cheekbones and the temples. Then I wanted to add a little bit more texture to the eyes, so I decided to take my spatula and press this into the glue that I had put down to block out my eyebrows. What this was going to do is create a dent and make it look like a crack coming up from my eyes. I really liked the effect this gave, it is optional but I think it looks pretty cool. And then just to tie that in with the rest of the makeup I just went over the top with a little bit of grey eyeshadow. And then I just painted my neck and chest to match my face using the bone colour face paint that we used earlier. And then went ahead and contoured my neck and chest using the same grey eyeshadows just to make everything look more sunken in. And then I just popped in a pair of white contact lenses, these are from CamoEyes.com, I'll leave links to those in the description bar below for you if you want to check them out. And then I just popped on my cloak and realised I forgot to do my mouth. So all I did for the lips here was purse them together as tight as I possibly could and went over the top of those using that grey eyeshadow on a large fluffy brush. What this is going to do is then when you relax your lips you're going to get this really nice cracked effect and I think this adds perfectly to the whole demonic vibe of this makeup. But once you've done that the makeup is complete, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like 
like this. If you did, remember to rate, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's any videos you'd like to see from me anytime soon and I'll make sure I get on those for you. But yeah, you can also now follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave links to those in the description bar below for you. But yeah, hope you guys like this and I'll see you all in the next video.